Okay, so we given a question and we are required to sketch even and odd parts of the given signal. So we have already studied that when we are required to sketch even part of a signal, even part of the signal is going to be signal plus its time reverse version divided by 2 and odd part of a signal is going to be x t minus x of minus t by 2. Okay, so in uh, both the cases we would, we would be requiring uh, the time reversed uh, signal that is the signal which is flipped around y axis mirror image of this signal around y axis. So we are going to do that directly here though. We are looking at the first part uh, first. So this is a signal which is having a, uh, consisting of a ramp signal and a step and the final value of the signal is 4. So when I just reverse it in time, then I am going to obtain something like this, okay. I am just making this for a rough idea. This is going to be the time reverse signal. When I just add these two signals and divide by 2, see when I am dividing a signal by 2, only the value is going to get affected, okay. I am not performing any operations in time. I am not performing time scaling. I am just dividing the signal by 2, then the value is going to be affected. Nothing else is going to change. So when I try to sketch the even part of the signal, it's going to look something like this. Okay, the signal itself plus its time reversed signal. Okay, so this is how even part of the signal is going to look like and this value is going to be 2. Why? Because I am dividing it by 2, the value initially is 4. So when you divide by 2, you are going to obtain 2. Uh, see, the signal is going to lie from minus 5 to 5. This is not going to change because we are not performing any operation with time. Right, so this is the even part of the first signal. When I try to find the odd part, I need to sketch xt. xt is going to remain the same. This time reverse signal, I need to subtract. Subtraction inside this argument means reversal around y axis. Subtraction outside the signal, outside the function means reversal around x axis. Okay, flipping the signal around x axis, mirror image about x axis. So, this is going to look something like this. Okay, this value is going to become minus 2, this value is going to become plus 2. Time intervals will remain the same though. So, this is how odd part of the signal is going to look like. Okay, uh, we are going to perform the second part similarly. So, in the second part also, see this is the original signal. If I just reverse it in time, it is going to look something like this. Okay. So, when I try to sketch its even part, I'm going to obtain a signal like this. Okay, like this. Initially, this value was 4, so this is going to become 2. This is going to be the even part of the signal. Right? And if I just sketch its odd part, this is going to remain as it is. When you subtract its time reversed uh, would you say this signal I'm going to obtain something like this okay this this value is going to be minus 2 this is going to be plus 2 so this is going to be the odd part of that signal now see in the third part we are having a discrete time signal okay see the definition for discrete time signal is also going to remain the same instead of t here you are going to have n only just that change is going to occur plus we are dividing, uh, dividing by 2 the complete signal. So it does not matter if we were dividing this uh, with the inside the argument. That is if we were, we were time scaling the signal, it would have made a difference. Okay, we would have, uh, maybe we could have encountered decimation, interpolation, something like that. But since we are dividing this with the complete signal, so it does not matter, only the value is going to change. So uh, you know how to reverse this signal, right? So I'm just adding and drawing the even part directly. This had samples from 0 to 5. So in the final signal also, you're going to have samples from minus 5. From minus 5 to 5. Right, and the value is going to be 2. Why? Because I am dividing by 2. Okay, that simple as that. Now, when you try to uh, sketch the odd part, these samples are going to have value 2.
whereas the reversed samples the time reversed samples are going to have the value minus 2 right so this is going to be minus 2 fine so this is how even not parts of the given signal are going to look like uh, now this signal i am leaving this for practice uh, i'm just giving the answers i'm not giving the explanation right now so you can just practice them and see if you are uh, getting the same answers or not so this is going to be the even part of the signal and when you sketch the odd part of the signal i'm going to obtain something like this okay uh just check just draw and check if you getting the same right uh now one thing that you can uh, just see here is that when you flip this signal okay when you flip this signal and add the reversal of the signal is also going to have a sample at n is equal to 0 okay and the original signal also had a sample at n is equal to 0 so when you add both of them the value of the sample at n is equal to 0 is going to become 8 and and when you subtract divided by 2 the value still going to remain 4 so this sample at n is equal to 0 is going to be 4 here and the sample at n is equal to 0 here is going to be 0 why because we it had samples both of 2 and minus 2 so finally the value is going to be 0 for n is equal to 0 this is uh, occurring because this is happening because this signal had sample at n is equal to 0 okay but this signal did not have any sample at n is equal to 0 so this problem does not occur in this part though okay so you can just check if you get this answer